when it comes to you and the bible nobody is preaching the bible to you you are the one who opened the bible and you are reading this should be your father speaking to you i don't know if i'm communicating to you don't don't go elsewhere to look for christ christ is in the world you don't need to search the heaven oh you know that you man wow no kiri find christ that somebody is telling you that there are seven heavens when i climbed the first one hmm. then i decide i ascend again to the second heaven and i saw angels ah, these angels i saw ah, they turn their head down are yeah, you see head to war ah. magic kingdom oh, no, the reason why God rejects someone it is because of the heart, not the way he or she comports himself or herself. Oh, can the Lord who to fish that girl? Okay, so we don't need to be married. I'm going to I pray that God will make you spiritual. I mean, but do I call on you? Show me, I mean. Because if you are not spiritual, your life will shall be wasted here. And your eternity is going to be full of sorrow. So wickedness. Can we check your heart, brothers and sisters? Is there wickedness in your heart? So it is not what you give. It is who you are. Oh. When I in a terrible world. We rate people by what we see from our common sense. When somebody preach hard. Say he is a faithful preacher. When somebody give, we say, Oh, that person loves me. Ah, oh, my friend, alone. I do know The God might say, No. I will not collect from him. Are you with me? So, check your heart. So, you you check your heart. So, check your heart. So, check heart. of Thank you for your love. Our desire is a showers of blessing. Each of us want to experience the, re, the, the, the showers of blessings of revival. We want to experience revival personally in our life. We want our lives to be transformed. We want to become spiritual beings so that we can become agent of transformation. May you in mercy do this for us in mercy. We have come to you today. May you begin revival Open our eyes that we may see you. Bring your light upon our lives. So that we can see the need for repentance. Do this for us in mercy. Thank you Lord because we have done it. In Jesus name we pray. Please be seated. We're still on study two. Ashi walori ekokeji sibe. The necessity of realizing one's sinfulness to be launched into God's love 
Oran yon ni ni, shi ni ye bi e she wa ti she poto, la ti le e wano i bu, i fe o loron. Each of us must come to how to the point of realizing how sinful we are. Eni ko kan wak bodo de i korita, ti a o fi man, bi e she wa ti poto. This must not just be a religious thing. Ele yi ko bodo, ni o wè sin ni nou. It must come to us personally how sinful we are. That is when we can be launched into God's love. We are on the parable of the two debtors. Luke chapter 7 verses 36 to 50. Iwe luku ori kesan, ese ikerin, le ni ogbo, ikerin, dini ogoji. Si ese ogoji lanka. We have read this passage to you over and over again. Ese bibeli yi, ati ka funwa, la imo ye igba. So I'm not reading it again today. Lo ni yo, unika. We are going straight to the outline. Ao ma wanu e kolo ni tara. Don't forget that we are looking at two important persons in this parable. It was an event that led to that led Jesus into speaking a particular parable of the two debtors. Ishele kan lo shele to ti Jesus lo sinu kwipa owe awon ajigbese meji yi. Aha. Two people, the Pharisee and a sinful woman. I want Meji, Pharisee, at your Bernie County or Confuence. Simon, the Pharisee, invited Jesus for dinner in his house. Simon, the Pharisee, Loma Pajes, and Koa Joe and Jaleni Leon. And he also invited his colleagues, the Pharisee, like himself. I want Cake Bear, a big Pharisee, be it here. Off you wake where I want not by you. And he offered a service unto the Lord. He wanted Jesus to eat food. And there was this woman called Sinful Woman. She also came with her own service unto Jesus. And the our own service was to anoint Jesus. She came with an alabaster box of oil to anoint Jesus. So we discovered that the two of them has two different services. Uh, one is worthless. The other is worthwhile. I believe, and these two gave us the two subheadings under this study. Our message, I think we are still on the first subtopic. Am I right? Okay, eh? we are not talking to me. The worthlessness of the service of the loveless religious by God. I think we were true with the first paragraph. Eh? We are beginning from the second, Abi. Okay, we have finished the first paragraph and the second paragraph. Abi. So we are going to the Third paragraph. So let's go there together. I believe you are with your outline. Eh? Simon, the Pharisee service, the offering of dinner to Christ was worthless. And it appeared Jesus did not hit the food from the context of the scripture above. Isha is in Simon, the Pharisee. E ti se pipe se o nja ile fun Kristi o je alai ni lari o si da bi eni wipe Jesu ko je o nje na gege bi iwe mimo se fihan ninu ibi kika yi the tradition of simple courtesy of the Jews that is feet washing 
a welcome kiss and anointing the head which is given to every visitor in their house which Christ expected from Simon was not even given. Asha akmole a won ju. E iti she ese fi fo. Ife nu konu ikini kabo. Ati fi fi ororo kuni lori. Ti aman she fun bobo ale jo ni ile. Ni ile won. Ti kristi reti. Ni ile won. Ni ile won. Ti kristi reti la ti awo simoni. Ni ko she fun. Probably such a service looked minia and such made him undignified at least in the presence of his colleagues who were present to dine and wine that night boya nitori pe irufa ise isin yi je yepere ko si bu iyikun niwaju awon akegbe re ti awon na wa si bi ase na lati je oni ale ojo na are you following us she and tell you the little love towards god in the heart of the religious by God, we make him want to do big things as a service to impress God. But his service shall be unacceptable because he does not originate from God and it is not for him but for self glorification sugbon ise isin re ko le je itewo gba nitori pe ko ni orisun re lati ninu olorun ki ise fun olorun sugbon fun ise logo eran ara simon in spite of his worthless service and wicked heart was not bothered that the one he accused was pardoned while he remained condemned and unjustified. Simoni, bi o tile je wikpe isha isin re je ala ini lari. Ti okan re si je ti ika. Ko bi kita wikpe eni ti o un dale bi ni adari ji. Ti o un si je ni dale bi a ti ala ini dala re si be. The simple truth is that he didn't realize he was wrong. O ti to ti o wani be ni wikpe. Same was with his fellows who sat with Jesus on the table. They were also offended by Christ's pronouncement that the woman's sins were forgiven and queried him in their hearts. Back on on, ni awan kekbe ere, ti won joko kwe lu jesu lori tabili. Awan nan binu si onti krisi sa wikbe adari anwe e shara bini nan ji. Let's come to Luke 7. Let's read verse 49. Are you in Luke 7? Now verse 49. And they, maybe for contextual reason, verses 48 and 49. Then he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? I want your bad joke on Jem, see better see row, Nino Aramope, Tani, a ye, ten daddy, a shagini pelu. Now come to Matthew twelve, twenty one, thirty one. Equada was in Matthew, Ori Cockon Lilogon. Matthew 21. Matthew ori kokon le ni ogun. Verse 31. Ese yi kokon le ni ogun. Are you there? She eti wani be. Eh? Okay. Whether of them twin did the will of his father, they say unto him the first. Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. Ese iko kan le ni ogbon. Ninu awon mejeji, ewo ni o se ife baba re, won wi fun pe, eyi ekini, Jesu si wi fun won pe, lo to ni mo wi fun yin, awon agbowo ode ati awon panshaga siwaju yin lo si ijoba ohun. Now please look up. E wo bi soke. I believe we have pondered 
enough on Simon the Pharisee. Mo gba gba pe ati she a sharo ti o to lori okunrin Simon the Pharisee. We told you that this man has little love for Jesus. Aso fun wa pe okunrin yi o ni ife to kere fun Jesus. And because of his little love he wanted to do something big. He threw a party for the sake of Christ. And he invited Jesus for dinner. Why did I call it a party? Anywhere you invite Jesus, Jesus never found anywhere walking alone. At least three of his disciples will keep his company. So, if they are not three, then they are twelve. If they are not twelve, they are seventeen. But let's just settle it that only twelve follow Jesus here. Now, for a Pharisee to throw a party and he want to invite his friends, he will not just invite ten people. It was not in the days of COVID-19. Because he wanted to do something. He was trying to break a record. He wants to show to other Pharisees that Jesus that people ran after came to my house to eat. So that was why he wouldn't want to tell the story to his Pharisee friends. He wanted them to witness it by themselves. Now, in his heart, he was doing something big. And you know the thing that was so big to him? You know, sometimes something you are doing is big in your own presence. In your self, you, you rate it high. But when the person you are doing it for and come around and he does not appreciate it. You know the pride of your bigness of the thing that you have done is deflated. Are you following? Now, Because of that big thing that he was doing. The simplest thing that Jesus expected, that man didn't give it. Somebody like me, if I come to your house, I say, oh, Okwala, come to my house. And you are trying to look for drinks. Ah. Wine and assorted juice. And you are setting them on the table. So after you have done all, if I am really interested to drink in your house. I will ask you, please, do you have water? I will have respect if you give me a bottle of effa water. Than you giving me drinks of wines and an assorted juice. 
o san ju pe ko ma fun mi lawon adalu omi nu because all of those things that you are setting as table they are poison to my body tori gbogbo awon adalu omi nu go to ko sori itabili ma je le ni won je fun ara mi so if i take only water bi mo ba wa mo mi lasan and you are offended tinu si bi o because oh what kind of a man is this ah we, we even treat him as a VIP. Ah, it is in your whole side that you are treating me as a VIP. Lo do it ye. Ni washen o o o fe she mi bi olo la bi ni yon pataki bi enin la. So if I swallow what you are presented. Bi mo ba wa ti ju re ti mo gbe nto gbe kalle ti mo gbe mi. For months. Fun apa lo apa osu. I will be battling with heel head in mama, my bones. Mama, tiraka kwe lua ilera ni nwa go arami. Because I will not be able to comport myself as I used to. Tori bi moti man she tele mi o ni le she be ma. And the reason why you failed. Iditi o si fi kuna. You didn't contact my God and your God before you furnished the table. Tori pe o kuna la ti bere lo wo lorun mi ati olorun re ko to lo fi awon owo to fi ra nkan yen ko to lo fi ra won Because if you have asked the Lord Lord o kon lies here Tori bi o ba o ba se nto to pe Oluwa o kon la mo nbe ni bi Is your son and is your servant Iran se re ni omo re si What can I give to him Oluwa kini kin bi se won la lejo I trust the Holy Spirit Mo jeri e mi mi mo He will tell you You so fun o Go and get him a bottle of ifa water Mora irakura o efa botu ni ko olora wa yo mu That's what the Holy Spirit will tell you Emi mo ma so fofo fun And the Holy Spirit will even tell you Emi mo si tun so fun buy him chill the one Mora tutu o Because you might even present that I said no 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 I don't take this O tun le se wahala ko mo ti e si na ko je ke bi won ti ko block si lo ti lora ko ode kan ni ah mi o fe tutu Now, are you getting what I'm talking about? So, so the simple cause that Jesus needed was that Jesus was expecting that this man will come and wash his feet. He was expecting to give him a welcome kiss. So, Jesus also needed kiss. Sometimes you don't know that somebody just needs your embrace. Just simple, that simple bra embracing. Makes that person feel great. You jeki eni yen ko ko ki ki okan re ko 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 fu ye. And feel loved. You see, new ni ri fe. But because you think that everybody is a fool, Laura. Eh, so my pay. Tori ko re ti pe bo bo eni ya lo jeun. Now everybody like food. Bo bo eni ya. Give him food. Give him food. O koni a bo bo koni lo man like o nje. Oh, eja so nje. Oh, fortunately. Oh, she ni la no. The food that that man went to cook. Bo bo. And you know, somebody of his caliber, it wouldn't be his wife that would have cooked that food. He would have sent for professional cook. You need to know different kind of assorted meat that would have been there. Oh yeah, man. Any tea of Pharisee gun? Are you getting it? So yeah, yeah. But that man didn't give Jesus what he needed most. He wanted his feet to be washed. He needed a welcome embrace. And after you have made him comfortable, you made him sit down, he was still expecting more. Anoint my head with oil. He needed to be cool. But this man didn't give it. Now we've now said in our outline. It might be that. That this thing that Jesus was expecting. It does not look dignifying. 
o o da bi eni pe ko bu yi kun eyan to gege bi farisi is a menial work o o o jo ise ye pere wa wo lai stoop low to be washing your feet emi o din di farisi ma wa bere mo le ma ma wa fo ese re me that I walk on this that everybody will say, Well done, sir. A meeting one man, Lotty, and when your mother quits, I kill, sir. Well done, sir. A cool shell, a cool shell. Man of God. You know, shell, Lord, I lie. The reverend in the town. And your one, Lonnie, boy. And you also be saying, Peace on to you. You know, Mazaka, laugh you, and if we peace on. Laugh you, and if we somebody like me. You ruin your mouth to down to be washing your feet. I keep for a senny can or row. And your mouth can't let for a senny. Say, Why would I kiss him? You know, that him, I waffle no coal and no. The man that almost everybody touching. I can't embrace him. Probably there is virus around his clothes. Everybody. Now, but there's one thing I want you to learn here. He wanted to impress God. Ah, okay. With big things. With his little love. But he makes a major thing. What Christ needed was not giving. Because the root of his big thing that he wanted to do. Did not originate from God. Did not originate from God. It came from his own worthless act that he rated to be a clean act. Oh, oh, wala ti o kan la ini la ri to ngbe kiri ti o unro pe o ni ye lori. The big thing that he was doing. Oh, un la to wan she to ngpon ke ke. Originated from a wicked heart. Oh, jade wala ti nu o kan i bi. When you love little, it is because your heart is wicked. Bi o ba ni fe ke ke re o tu man si pe o kan re kufu i ka. Wickedness does not permit the flow of love. Eh, eh, i, i, i bi ki i mo ki i fe ko shan. So God did not send him to do what he did. Not only that it did not originate from God. He actually didn't do it for God. He did it for self-glorification. Brothers and sisters. Let's ask ourselves what you have been doing where did it originate from even the recent good that you just did recently where does it originate from why did you do what you have done? Is it for self-glorification? Let's examine our lives. Why did we do what we have done? I remember an, an event last year. God spoke to me that all my native wear, I should give it out. So, I took that instruction as a light instruction. So, when I now pull out all from the wardrobe, all my native dresses. And I can't tell seven things. I said, are they all going? So, I just stop it. Ah, So, I now check again. Did I really hear God? Did I really hear God? 
You know, I waited again until I received that God came to I said, I am the one release them. You know, as I was packing them, I was having pain in my heart. I was having pain in my You need to know my, my native dress. I sold my native for 5000 naira. So I was like, if I have to calculate tailor money, Kani Kamatia, Shiro Washo, Kode, Owo Telo. I said, This is fortune. Money, ah, Ele told Danny Loco. But I was sure it was God. Suban, Money, Danny Logupe, or Lua Loso, and I did it for him. Mosi Shefun. I don't know why I should do it. Me, my Dito Fiakin Shebe, I instructed me to do so. Suban, Loso Quakin Shebe, and I did. Mosi Shebe. So we must check. Why am I doing what I am doing? Who commanded me? Or what is the motivating factor? Please, do you follow me to this point? Each of us. Even if you are going to collect bag from an old man, let it be that it is the Holy Spirit that moves your heart. I don't know if I'm communicating to you. Don't do anything to impress anybody. It's better for you that people call you to be a wicked person. And God called you to be the best and the, and the best person. You better person. That's good for you. Well, I don't know about you, but for me, it's good for me. I prefer God's commendation. Please, do you follow me to this point? So let's stop worthless service. Whatever good that we want to do. If it does not originate from God, then it is worthless. Now, if it is from God, and it is not for Him, it is also worthless. So we must endeavor to, to see to these two factors. That the good that I will do must be God that commanded this. And when he has commanded me, I must, must not say, okay, if I do this thing, I'll become a big man. How we look like a benefactor. Now, I have made it worthless again. That underlying motive has polluted my sacrifice to be worthless. Please, do you follow me to this point? Do you get these two points? In all of your life, whatever good that you are going to do, and we, we as Christians were born again to do good. We have obligation under God to do good. Every of our good must originate from him. And while we are doing it, we must do it for him. Please do you learn that. Now, this man, Simon, his service was ignored. In spite of the worthlessness of his service, the wicked heart he carried did not allow him to be to bother about the negligence and the neglect of his service to Jesus. So he was concerned. With accusation of the woman that was sinful, who was doing what was right to Jesus. You know the rudest shock of these Pharisees, I mean Simon and his colleagues, 
eyi to to da won ni jiju awon farisi ati simoni ati awon akegbe re farisi yi if you follow the story what was the rude shock ejo ki lo da won ni jiju eh talk to me e soro ki lo da won ni ji that jesus was pronouncing that your sins are forgiven pe jesus so pe adari ese re ji o you know they now abandoned the woman won wa fi obirin yen won fi le they started condemning jesus won wa won wa bere si ni da jesus lebi their sins were not pardoned e se ti won a o dari re ji won o they were not bother ko si kan won won bu sekun you don't get it the reason why I refer you to Matthew twenty-one thirty-one. He did it more for me. He lost Matthew. Ori ko kan lelo gwan se ko kan lelo gwan. Once Jesus pronounced somebody pardoned. Nikete ti Jesus subati sokwe adari ashe di eni kan. That person has entered into the kingdom. Eni yeti wano ijoba. Jesus was now telling the Pharisees there. Yes, one so far one Pharisee ni bi. That the publicans. Awon agbowo ode and the harlots ati awon pan shaga excuse me who was this woman ta ni obirin yi pan shaga ni he said had enter before you into the kingdom of god oni won ti shaju yin wonu ijoba olorun what brought them what gave them that access ejo ki lo fun won ni idalu wole yen because they didn't make god a liar won o pe olorun ni o puro Brothers and sisters, let's stop calling God the liar. Ara, ema jeka ma sokpo lo nun. Any time we are proving to God that we are innocent. Bo bo igbati abati in sofo lo nun kwa wo mima o nun mima. Oh God. Last year I pray, I pray to a particular point. Ni odun to koja, mo gbadura de yi korita kan. And when I prayed, Ni gbati mo gbadura. I was telling God, you said this. You said this. You said this. You are not a liar. You must do it. You must do it. Why are you delayed? You know, after many days of prayer. One day came and the Lord came to me. He said, Joseph, you are proud. I said, he said, he said, who are you? Onitania. To indict me. Lati ma fi mi sun. You know I was telling God. I was saying God you know by your grace you made me to be a prophet. And you always tell the whole story to your prophet. Mo so fo lu wakpo olu wa. So ma kwenye pa ori ofe re. O so mi di woli. Bo bo oro lo si man so fo mi tan. I said why are you not telling me the whole story. Kilo wa reto wa so bo e fo mi. That was my prayer and I was. And I took my scripture from Amos chapter 3 verse 6. Is it 6 or 7? Am you know Amos si ori keta ise keta si kefa ni mo ti mo adura mi mo si bere si ni ba olorun wijo so i took my message bible i said this he said you will tell it he said you will tell your prophet the whole story mo wa lo gbe eda message to so pe o so fun woli re gbogbo bo ti je i said i'm your son i'm your servant omo re ni mi woli re ni mi oluwa so i started praying i prayed i prayed mo wa bere si gbadura mo gbadura mo gbadura say you are proud oluwa wa da mi lohun pe ani igbera ga nbe ninu aya re o so why must I tell you the whole story? Even the one I told you. It is because I have mercy on you. You know, I ended up asking for forgiveness ah. of sin. You know, for days I lost my peace. For days I lost my peace. Let's talk. <laughs> Recently I was praying. I said, Lord, all that you have spoken to me that you commanded me to do, I have done it. Why are you why why don't you do your own part? <laughs> and I was praying. I was praying. But you are proud. Only one more coney. Sometimes we we don't believe that we have seen. Lock boy back, he back, but we are leche. I don't know, maybe you have known that. Me or my boy, your team on your body. That for us to admit wrong is very difficult. Me for a lot, he back, oh, she, a boy, Debbie, oh, man, near out. 
for somebody to say i am a sinner fun eyan lati dide ko fowo so ya pe be tin wo mi ye lese ni mi o it is not natural for human being eniyan nipa iseda ki so be except the holy spirit bring his light afiti emi mi mo ba mu imole wa Sometimes when you see somebody who is explaining to you that this thing that you are doing is wrong. You still be saying, are you sure? What is wrong in that? What is wrong? You, we, we always want, all of us, we always want to prove our innocence. Excuse me, do you agree with that? If you agree with that, please raise up your hand. Please, we must all repent from it. In fact, we need the light of the Holy Spirit always. For us to know our sin. So that we can truly repent. We cannot experience revival. When our sins are unpardoned. Until our sins are pardoned. Time of refreshing will not come. Do you remember Peter preached that to the Jews? On the day of Pentecost. He said repent. So that the hour of refreshing, Abi. Can you give me that scripture? Acts chapter what? 319, please read for me. Acts 319. A hand. Repent and what? Be converted. Uh-huh. So that your sins can be blotted out. Now, this refreshing time that comes from the Lord is revival. So, we cannot experience revival when our sins are not pardoned. You know, sometimes when you have done what is good, all the good is good, and there is one thing that you're supposed to do and you refuse to do. Rubbish the whole thing. No, I remember an event 1998. Yeah, that 97, 98, 98. You know, that time I used to teach in about five, five Bible colleges. So that Saturday, I have gone from early in the morning till night. And I taught in five Bible colleges in the morning. I was fagged out. Now, I was living at Arumalan at that time. I wanted to board the last taxi to my house. And I had only 10 naira in my hand. From under bridge sawmill to Arumalan 10 naira. You know, as I was standing there waiting for the next car. And there was this madman that came to me. He said, give me 10 naira. I look at his face. I said, no. This is the last Enara. I cannot trek to my house. And that madman went. Car came and I went. So as I go to my night net there. I was giving glory to God for the places that I've gone out. I saw his hand upon me. He said, except for that you did not give me the tenor I asked from you. I said, that madman. I said, yes, I am the one that sent him. He said, that is, that's the old thing that you have done that rubbish today. Are you going to teach me how to do that? I started pleading with God. I started pleading with God. I started pleading with God. Lord, show me mercy. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. And I was saying, Lord, give me another opportunity. It was sorry to me. Ah, oh, 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 I cannot think of hitting. 
until I receive answer that I have forgiven you. Even after I was pardoned, I felt so, so condemned. What an hectic day. And, and the crowning crani process of all my labor for the but, day. But, but, an, an omission of a commission. So, beloved brothers and sisters, we need to come to the point of realizing am I really pardoned? When we have issues of sin that we don't confess, the blood of Jesus will not cleanse them. Then the sins are there. And by implication, Every blessing that's supposed to reach you that time, we elude you. It will only be the mercy of God that will not allow the enemy to scatter your life. Then you will not be pardoned. That will not allow the enemy to scatter your life. Then you will not be pardoned. That will not allow the enemy to scatter your life. Then attract devils and demons into our lives. And they come to wreck Afok. Please, please, please. This Pharisee, Pharisee ye, by himself, he didn't see anything wrong in his life. Recently, my wife and I were reading book. We now discover that fear is a sin. Worry is a sin. Self pity is a sin. How many of you have committed these three sins? That I have Raise up your hand. Now, when they ask you to confess your sin, will you see them as sin? Self pity. Sometimes somebody offended you. That person blackmail you. But your own reaction to it. He did that to me. He did that to me. You said that to me. God, you see him. More. You have to vindicate me. Now, do you know anytime you raise your voice in anger, you have already become a criminal. Please, am I communicating to you? So, if we really want revival, I want to announce to all of you, many of your sins, they are yet to be pardoned. Because you never made mention of them to God. It is the sin that you confess that God will forgive and the blood of Jesus will cleanse but the one you don't confess is already hidden whosoever that covereth is sin shall not prosper Do you know when you pity a man or a woman that God is angry with? You have, you have already sinned. Because by pitying that person, you are telling God, you are wicked. Why, why, why are you this so wicked? Why do you judge? Why do you judge? Do you know we normally judge God? Do you know we normally condemn God? Maybe, maybe you don't know. Oh God, you are not getting it. Do you know you have got <laughs> sometimes you get to a certain couple and they have many children and they have no money and you have your own family member or your friend somewhere who, who has what it takes to be parent over those children and you say God why are you doing this <laughs> 
Look at this. I'm not be Seven children. Seven children. This one. And they are just begging for 200 naira. 200 naira they need it. Now. And God, and God, you know that look good that we have been praying for. Oh, 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 you have condemned God. Into so nipe olon gebi o da olon lebi. So we don't know this as sin. Awo o kin ma wo iwa yi le se. That is the problem of this Pharisee and his friend. Isoro Pharisee yi ati awo ore re niyan. As far as they were concerned, but he can won ku ti They don't need they don't need pardon. Awo o ni lo dari je ese. Nothing wrong with their lives. Kin lo saye won ko si they became expert at the law. Oh, what he did, I lash a pair of to even accuse Jesus of <laughs> pardoning somebody's sin. A damn belly daddy, we got for daddy, I said, Jenny. Oh, God, may, you, may God deliver us from the spirit of Pharisee. You are called Baba, I love where me, Pharisee, and yes. Please let me tell you. Hey, the way then we find majority of us we are affected with the spirit of Pharisee. Bobo, a polock one in no one near me, yes, Pharisee, Bawaja. Our church environment, our Ijo, church community, Ijowa, Agbebe, Ijowa. made us to be Pharisees. Oh, so what the hell is Pharisee? We are always judgmental. One kiri ti gi odu ti wan e unu odu olodu ni amari. We always point finger of accusation. Amasaba na ka buku selo mina aki dada wale joni banga. When it comes to our home, nigba to ba ti dibi toro ti wa. It's a mistake. A sise ni mo se na o. Olorun na understand. It's a mistake. Mo sha sise. But when it is another person. Sugbo to ba je lo mi ni. No, that 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 one is another lot. E kan ma gbe lebu ni, a sewo ni. That's an outcast. Iye, eni ta ta nu ni. He's a child of the devil. O mo esu ni. Please let's let's repent. E jowo, e je ka ronu ku wada. As I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself too. Bi mo tin ba yin soro, mo n bara mi na so. We have to desist from being a Pharisee. Agbudo de kun lati ma je Pharisee. Let's stop condemning people. Eje ka de kun lati ma da won elomiran lebi. Let's stop accusing God. Eje ka de kun lati ma da Olorun lebi ka ma fo Olorun sun. Let's focus on our lives. Eje ka gbajumo aye kan soso ta ni ta mo ba ya ni pada wa mo. Don't think about others being wrong. First think about yourself. Eje ka ma ro nu pe elomiran o se daada eje ka gbajumo aye ti wa nikan. Let us admit our wrong. Eje ka gba pe lo to la se asi je bi. Holy Spirit does the work of conviction. E mi mi ma lo ma mu eh eh isini ye wa ni pa ese. Let's be praying that Holy Spirit don't stop this work in my life. Eje ka so fun e mi mi ma ma dawo ise yi duro ninu aye mi. Let me always always know how sinful I am. Je ki ma mo ni gbo gbo igba bi mo ti kun fun ese to. Before you will judge your spouse. Before you will accuse your friend. Before you are going to accuse a family member. Look first on yourself. I pray we all have Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And we will all... No, allow him to walk in us. We need to come to this point, brothers and sisters. Many will die like this Pharisee. Many will die like this Pharisee. And we also told you <laughs> that this Pharisee's friend I want to be a Pharisee. They were also seeing the same thing in their heart. Onti Pharisee in son, I want on son in work on. I want to beg you. Mo fe be o. Check your friend. Do yero I want to on kwe lor ere wo. If you have a Pharisee as a friend. Bi obani ore to je Pharisee. Please delete that person. 
When you are in a relationship with a Pharisee, a Pharisee will take you to the pinnacle of the temple. When he me, if I go to Bible study, I don't listen to everything they say. Only Amy. I go there. I begin to expect, I begin to, to watch them closely. If if what they are saying doesn't doesn't touch me. I quickly ignore I quickly ignore it. If you are befriending such a person. That person is going to destroy you. All of us. Our heart desire should be. Lord, beam your light to every dark part of my life. If you are with your spouse. Let your prayer be. Do you know many of us, we don't know that we are wicked? When we were single. When you are not married, you don't know how sinful you are. You know the, the way we celebrate ourselves as brothers. Oh, brother, sister, brother, We don't have close rapport. Now, marriage allows you to be kept in the prison. Permit me to say prison. Say, that you are in the, you know, it's a yoke. It's a you know, it's a yoke. Uh-huh. So, and anything that is a yoke is a prison. Something has made something has made as tie you together with someone. And as and as it was, you have to be together twenty four seven. Even if you are not staying together from together uh -huh. in the morning. Even if you are going to your work. Hello, You are still in that yoke. Once your, once your phone rang. Before Hello, where are you? Hello, Ibolowa. That's a yoke. Where are you? It is, not, it is not how are you? Where are you? Ibolowa. So if you are a sinner, we say liar. And you have never lied before. Oh, city, Now you begin to tell lie. Oh, what better? I begin to say, you you know the name of that. Oh, 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 you know the name of that. Like, I, I, I don't know the name hey, of this. I don't know the name of this. I don't know the name of this. I don't know the name of so marriage is a place where our sinfulness are exposed. Igbe yawo ni biti ki kufu eche wati man jejade. Eden sins. Awo eche ikoko shall be exposed. Awo ma fi wana. So if you do not have the spirit of Christ, Boba wani emi Christi. It is your spouse that you be accusing of problem. Oh wa ma fi ololu fe re sunpe ololu ni lawa. Sometimes if you are impatient. God will give you somebody who will provoke you to anger. And you'll be saying, I am not like this. Before. It is when this woman entered into my It life. is not the woman. It is you. God have just come. <laughs> Holy Spirit have shown you some things that you ignore. Now, you want to use circumstances to now prove you who you are. So, once you are seeing that, instead of 
condemning or accusing your spouse. He said, now I know Holy Spirit. And I'm impatient. Anger is still in, it is, it's still in this heart. Now I know. Ah, say, Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. You know when you see two friends come to a point of prayer and they say, Lord, the evil in my heart, evil in our heart, Lord, expunge it. It is because they are yoking together. So that yoking have exposed who they have to one another. But many of us that we have this conservative background. You say, because you need to you dress like a deeper life person. So you begin to say you now tactically want to avoid one another. Even when you say, let us pray. Even in your prayer, you are avoiding one another. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We bless your name. Show us mercy, Lord. Hmm. Lord. Ah, Oluwa. Lord. Ah, Oluwa. You know us. Oh my wa. But we can't see it. We can't see it. Ah, ah, let's go. Because you knew. If you begin to elucidate in the place of prayer, and to analyze your error, you will end that prayer in crisis. Oh God, am I communicating to you? Alone, May we not go to hell from the church. Let's stop managing one another. Let's expose ourselves to God. That God, this is who we are. We never knew that we are like this. But this thing called marriage has us. And cry for help. Cry for her. You will not only pray. You go to your disciple maker. Excuse me, sir. Daddy, there is a matter in my life. That is hidden. Me, I don't know whether you know it all. That you are also keeping quiet. But let me expose myself. So, how do I handle this? Please, are you, are you following me? If there is a repentance, I want us to repent. It is to be delivered from the spirit of Pharisee. How many of you? No, now. Melon, no, while no more by the spirit of Pharisee is at work in your life. And me, Pharisee, she shall know me. Do I have anybody here? Yes, let me be going to war. That's okay. Thank you. Oh, she, we need to repent. I bought the Rono Puada. We must come to that point. I bought a day, Coritanian. Do you know sometimes you even hear God? It is incomplete statement you hear. And you form your opinion on it. Do you get me? Maybe God spoke to you about certain person. God just want to intimate you. you. You were not patient enough to hear the complete statement. Or the complete information. Immediately you jump to conclusion. 
o ti fi yoku kun o si fodide and you started to act on that o wa bere si fi b ati d o fi kun ha to gbo yen o si be si uwa lori e i plead with you oluwa mo mo be o may you bring the light of your spirit upon us oluwa je ki imole mi re ko to wa let the light of your holy spirit je ki imole mi mi mo shine upon all of our hearts so that si gbogbo kan wa so that we we know how sinful we are bi e se wa ti po to we cannot go beyond this. Ah, ole, koda ni agbanti ade yima. And I think we should pray. Mo wo pe ya ka gba dura. We you like to ask God. Ja wa se wa fe be Oluwa. Personally just beg the Holy Spirit. Iwo gege bi enikan lo be mi mi mo. Holy Spirit, it is your work to e convict. Ise re ni lati pa kiyesi eni sese. Every area of my life. Bobo agbaye mi. That is sinful day, but I don't know. I si didn't ti know. Ti mo ti ti mi o si man. Bring your light, o oh God. Oluwa tamale si. Oluwa tamale si. Bring your light, o oh God. Iman le ni oluwa o kukunko si lo dore. Tamale si o kami. Bring your light, o oh God. Oluwa mo iman le re wa si o kami. Mi o fe don u moto. I don't want to get to heaven before I know the truth. Hey! I must not land in here to now realize that I am a sinner. Mi o gbo do don wa pa di tan kin to ma wa mo pe ase mo kun fe se. Holy Spirit bring your light. Eh mi mi mo mo imole wa si okan mi. Bring your light. Bring Oluwa your light. Le re bring wa si your light. Mi mo imole wa si okan mi. Je ki imole o wonu okan mi. In all segment of my heart. Je ki imole o wonu okan mi. Part of me, oh God. Oh God, my yeah, me talk of war, Kokon. Oh Lord, bring hey, your light. Bring your light. I plead, I plead, oh God. Oh Lord, come on, let's see. Ah, Sano me about go. Every dark part, every dark spot. Bring your light, bring your light upon my spirit to every deepest part of me. You want the truth in the innermost part. How will I know the truth of the, my innermost being? If you don't bring your light, bring your light, oh God. Bring your light, oh God. Makarakosa. Barakosoto rulebo. Rabasata rile makasatari. Jeproliko zuntori leba. Marabali kakazuntaria. Hey God. Let there be light in my innermost part. Please pray that prayer. God wants truth in the innermost part. Aha, and it is the, in the innermost part of your being is your heart. Holy Father, bring the light of your spirit into my innermost part. Do this for me, mercy. 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 Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I need your light. I need the light of your spirit. I need the light of your spirit, Lord. I need the light of your spirit, oh God. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I don't want to be neglected. I don't want to be abandoned. Hey, I want to receive pardon. 
Ah, on every sin in the name of Jesus. Ah, Oluwa. I do not want to comport myself as though I am righteous, yet I am unpardoned. Hey, Lord. Help me, O oh God. 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 Hey, this is my cry. 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 Let me see how sinful you are. Let me know how sinful you are. So that I can be launched into the ocean of your law. Hey. Hey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please open your eyes. Now, our pursuit in this parable. You know, we are still dealing with the first uh, with the first set of five parables of salvation. We are still on it. We are yet to explore. I think study one, study two, study three is about those five parables of salvation. Now, our desire and our pursuit is to belong to the ocean of His love. When God rejected Saul, the water of Greece was exhausted. So he was living his life in dryness. For David, for David, you know. If you compare the sin of David and Saul, excuse me, can you tell me the only crime that Saul committed that broke the coming of grace back on him? Huh? Impartial obedience. Impartial obedience. He went to kill the Amalekites. The only thing that he speared Agag the king. And the best animal he brought home. That was just a cry. Now compare with David. Who took the wife of a devoted disciple. A devoted disciple, not a rebellious disciple. He slept the, with that man's wife. In his bid of covering his sin. And Huria, who in his faithfulness and devotion, not primarily to God, to David. He was devoted to the training that David had given to them. So he did not leave. David ended up killing that man. Who, who is the, the most criminal between David and but why did David receive mercy? Because he was launched in the ocean of God's love. On account of understanding how sinful he was. You know, he said, I am the man. He said, I have sinned against the Lord. You know, God said concerning David. So the covenant I have with David. Except you have turned the day to the night. Temperly, 
If you can turn the day to the night and turn night to the day, that is when my covenant with David shall be broken. Why did David have such love from God? He always acknowledge his sin. Lord, me, I don't even want the pot of grace. Oluwa of mi the pot of water of grace. I want to be launched into the ocean of your love and grace. Give me this at attitude of confessing my sin. Claiming the blood of Jesus. Leaning on the blood for cleansing. Let this become the attitude of my heart. Let me stop being a Pharisee. I must always come to acknowledge my sin. And I must confess my sin. And ask him for the blood of Jesus. All the time. The cleansing power from the blood. May I not desert it for a moment. I want to be launched into the ocean of your love. Do this for me, mercy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.